Good morning. In today's health alert, the idea of regifting gets a bad rap, but sometimes the gift of life can be regifted. Currently in the U.S., there are more than 100,000 people waiting for a kidney transplant, yet less than 20% will receive one this year. But a new approach to organ donation has the potential to expand the number of kidneys to people who are on dialysis. Well, I'm 70 years old and I never thought that I would have second chance in life, <laughs> but thanks to you. For nine and a half years, Virtus Boyce waited for a miracle. I had just resigned to the fact that I would never receive a kidney, that I would just spend the rest of my remaining days, which I was thinking wouldn't be long, on dialysis. But thanks to a new approach to donation, the call finally came. There was a teenage girl who died tragically, and her family donated a kidney to a young man in his 20s. Two years after his kidney transplant, uh, he died in a, in a motor vehicle accident. He looks happy. I didn't want to see a teenage girl's kidney uh, that was functioning well for two years just get discarded. So Dr. Jeffrey Veal at UCLA Health retransplanted the kidney into a third patient, a rare procedure that's only been performed a handful of times. Once considered taboo, doctors say regifting kidneys would have life-saving impacts. About 20 to 25 percent of patients who have a kidney transplant die with a functioning kidney transplant. That's a lot of potential kidneys that could be put out there in the pool. Veal says this protocol could save hundreds of lives each year and should become standard in donation, helping patients like Virtus who otherwise may not have received a kidney. It's a second chance that they get in life just like he did and you know kidneys don't go with you to heaven they they're just discarded so why not give somebody else a second opportunity <laughs> he lives on he lives on now i'm gonna take good care of myself so i can take good care of this okay there are an estimated 30 million people who will go on dialysis over the next decade. Experts say if retransplanting kidneys were to become standard practice, it would open up the donor pool to those waiting on the call desperately for this life-saving organ. I'm Andrea Roan, WUSA 9.